good day everyone welcome to this uh, f1 vlog i hope you're doing well it is a pretty nice uh, friday afternoon here in montreal uh i should say evening the sun is going down so it's gonna be dark soon and uh, we have a lot of topics to cover so uh, let's start with the good news and my earphones are falling off so that's a good start so okay where was I? Yeah, a uh, lot of topics to cover this week. So first let's start with the good news. Factories are reopening and we are finally going back to racing. Uh, yes, at the beginning of the week, uh, all the F1 factories were allowed to reopen. Uh, so the likes of Mercedes, Red Bull went back to works. A lot of people are probably super happy to be back uh, at their jobs, of course, observing some uh, uh, social distanciation rules. So, uh, but it, that's at least that. And yes, we are going back racing. Beginning of July, it's been announced officially. We're gonna have eight races in Europe, starting with two in Austria on uh, July 2nd and uh, sorry July 5 and July 12 this is gonna be followed the week right after with the Hungarian Grand Prix on July 17 then another double header two races at Silverstone on August 2nd and um, August 9, Spain on August 16, Belgium at its uh, first planned date on August 30, and Italy September 6, so the week right after Belgium. So this is good news, the teams are, f are finally going back racing, uh, we have 8 race plans, so we don't know yet what it's gonna be after uh, Italy the, the Liberty Media is supposed to make some announcements within a few weeks there are rumors that it could be uh, either America or Asia and end in Bahrain or Abu Dhabi uh, somewhere in December but yeah the gaps between uh, September 6 and November December we uh, still have no real clues we know that the calendar they proposed at first said that yeah in October we could get the Americas and oh, little kid passing by uh, yeah we could get the Americas in October and yeah maybe Asia in November but that's there's nothing that's confirmed yet though Chase Carey said that we are aiming at a calendar of 15 to 18 races so we will have some interesting race and features during an interview uh, Chris Horner from uh, Red Bull said that with everything that's going on right now all the crazy stuff now would be the time to actually experiment with uh, you know new features to have more competitions you know we're talking about potentially a reverse grid or uh, you know some new qualifying uh, methods uh, you know just since we have races in that are happening two weeks in a row at the same venue, why not try something crazy just to, to test it? I mean, the championship is already gonna be a weird one, so might as well uh, try to spice up things and see what happens if it's good for the sport. Other teams, some of the other teams were uh, interested in the proposition, but uh, one of the big names that said uh, no, we should not. Is Toto Wolf 
uh, team principal of Mercedes, which is not super surprising considering that they pretty much own the front of the grid. They don't want to uh, impede their chance at having social distancing. They don't want to impede th their chances at having uh, another world title. So we are not going to see some of these features this year. Uh, unless, obviously, Liberty Media and the FIA decide otherwise. Something that's interesting also is that we will have some races three weeks in a row. Uh, we were looking at the Austria twice and Hungary, and then twice at Silverstone, then Barcelona. It's uh, interesting considering that uh, I believe since 2018 we had three races in a row yeah. and the teams did not want to do that ever again but I guess this year with the fact that, with the fact that they are staying at the same venue for two weeks will be less of a... I'm just gonna climb here I'm gonna be farther from everyone uh, yeah so Considering that they're gonna be at the same venue for two weeks in a row, it might actually be uh, possible and less troublesome for everyone to uh, have three races uh, back to back. They won't have to move the stuff, the mechanics will be able to either go back home or stay at the venue. Um, so finally we're gonna have some actions, the teams are gonna be happy. It's going to be good for the money uh, because some of the, those teams uh, you probably already know if you've watched the news have been struggling. Uh, it's pretty windy by the way, sorry if there's some wind uh, noise in there. But yeah, some of the teams have been struggling financially in the last few weeks. You've probably heard from Williams who have lost their major sponsor, uh, Rocket, announced that they lost 13 million uh, euros or pounds last year, I'm not sure which currency, but it was uh, 13 million, in any case it's uh, definitely not a small sum, sorry. And they are looking at other ways to get money, maybe even sell the team. Uh, Claire Williams in an interview said that she does not wish to sell the team but if that's what it takes to protect it, save those jobs, uh, they will have to, unfortunately. So they're looking at all their options. Uh, Ross Braun said uh, also uh, today, I believe, that some very... Uh, big names were interested by Williams so we'll have to see they assured us Claire Williams assured us that they have the funds to race for this year this is not a concern so we should not be worried about Williams competing or missing races in 2020 uh, no matter how many they are so that's a good thing oops I'm losing pieces of my <coughs> selfie stick that's what happens when you buy the cheap one on uh, Amazon. Okay, so uh, we're saying, yeah, they have the funds to race in 2020, but yeah, after that, if they don't make big improvement, it's gonna be a problem for them. So they are surely happy that the cost cap is finally taking effect next year. $145 million for all the teams. Uh, of course, plus plus all the stuff that they can put apart from that. But yeah, that's gonna be an issue that's sad considering that Williams is such an historic team. They had, they are the second team with the most Formula One championships, and nobody wants to see them leave Formula One. So if they're sold, will they keep the name Williams or like? 
what will happen, nobody knows. Uh, but we'll see, one thing at a time. For all we know, they could be in a pretty good position this year and make money. They've shown during winter testing that they were there, they have a car. So we'll see, one thing at a time. Uh, what else do we have? Yes, I uh, was talking earlier about how to spice up competitions. Um, well, the FI, not the FI, but Liberty, Liberty Media announced a series of new rules aimed at 2021. Uh, even though we're not getting the, the full uh, rule package that was planned and that is now delayed to 2022, we are getting some changes. Um, like I said, the budget cap is now lowered to 145 million dollars instead of 175 as originally planned. Um, there will be some technical changes to uh, the floor. Instead, they were at first planning to make changes for the rear wing, but. Uh, in the end, they decided to go for the floor. I won't go into details because I don't understand much of the technical aspect of it. All I know is that it should help spice up the competition. Uh, they're gonna increase the minimum weight of the car, which some of the drivers and teams maybe won't like. But again, it's all to help spice up things, uh, maybe reduce downforce. Or oh, yeah, that was what was going with uh, the floor. Help reduce the downforce. And these are all small changes, but you know, if it can help for next year, we're gonna take them because we don't even know what's gonna happen this year. Uh, Speaking of what's happening this year, uh, let's go with another team, talk about Williams, let's talk about Renault. Will Fernando Alonso be back with Renault? Um, Cyril Abitbull did not deny that, yes, Alonso might be in their plans for 2021. That said, there is nothing confirmed. But there is still an empty seat at Renault, and we don't know who's going to take it. It could be a driver from their junior program, could be Alonso, could be Vettel, even though nobody really expects Vettel to go in a team that will win. Uh, so we'll have to see, but yeah, it's not Alonso is not out of the picture for Renault, for sure. Uh, he's a good racer. I would personally like to see him there, but it's not. Uh, don't expect it. But he is in the in the plans for Renault. 